So in this video, insert messages, it is in yellow color. So we need to go to menu, then determine analysis. In determine analysis, we will get exact idea why NEUE is failing. Here it is saying output not found for this condition, D71 and this access sequence. Access sequence, what is access sequence? By, uh, actually, to uh, get this output automatically in this document, uh, functional consultant has given the access sequence in next transaction. EF output type. Here, any UE. We need to double click on this. They have given the access sequence of this doc type, purchase organization, and vendor. Okay, and in our case, it is purchase org and vendor is trailing. Purchase org and vendor. So, what we will access singles, they will maintain it in MN04 is for creation. MN05 is for change and MN06 is for display. So what we can do, we will go it in change mode only. Here we will write any UE. Then after entering key combination, we need to take the exact same key combination, which is given in red uh, here arrow is not coming means it is not found here this expand option is present and it is in green color so this it gets satisfied this condition for purchase or uh, doc type purchase organization and vendor which is present in in uh, next transaction doc type purchase of vendor doc type purchase of and vendor it is present but uh, I will explain this also. We'll select this doc type, purchase org, and vendor. Second option. Then I entered. I am entering same value which is given in this. It is in green color, so it is satisfied, and they have mentioned that output found. But this condition is satisfying, but this condition is getting failed. For timing, we will check success condition. D71 I forward to enter i will enter then the vendor for this vendor they have maintained the data and here uh, i told you kailas uh, regarding uh, save immediately okay okay that save immediately okay they haven't given here save immediately is present here f also not this this is for external send external email this option Transmission medium. Okay, and this date and time. Dispatch time, dispatch time when we need to send the outputs. Send immediately when saving application. When four option is present at time, update debugging gets triggered. And in inside update debugging, output type gets assigned. Okay, if three is present, then when they click on uh, save, Output type will not get assigned. They need uh, output type. Uh, they need to add it manually, and then they need to click print preview. Okay, they have added four year, so that's why it came. Any UE is uh, present, but any UE is not in green color. So again, I will go to determine why it is not in green color because second condition is not getting satisfied, and it is a purchase org and a vendor. I will again go back here. Go back here. I will click on uh, the combination again. And second option is purchase org and vendor. I will click here. Actually, for the time being, they have maintained it. Uh, in oh, it is not present. So we need to click on this. Everything we need to maintain. 
water uh, given for the other condition, other access sequence that we need to give it. Here it is present. In one case, we will keep it open. Key combination first option. Huh? It will not create paid. If I remove it, it is present for other. Exact same value we need to give. What are present here? It will come in F4 also, partner function. Secure STUV. Okay. And here, F4, we need to give external send. Here, date and time 4. And language, I think they didn't give, so we also will not give. Then we need to select this. It is not written select. Enter. Yeah. Go inside communication. CS01. LOCLG. All this thing we need to give here. Okay. Okay, now if we go back, if we check a key combination, Open it in display mode. Let's see it is displaying. Yeah, it is coming now. So our second condition will also get satisfied. This one. Okay. So I think uh, if we save on it, it will come in green that uh, or we need to create a new PO that we need to check. Second option, uh, if this uh, access, if we see determine analysis also and all the condition are getting satisfied then we need to check the routine here they will give uh, whether routine is uh, look here a requirement is not fulfilled so this requirement is nothing but the routine pofm routine from where we will get the routine go back go one more back here we need to click on procedure here we need to select this, then we need to go inside control. Inside control, any UE is assigned. This I uh, explained to you before also. We'll check here. Any UE is routine is this 101. The requirement routine which is present here in analysis, it is not fulfilled. But for our case, any UE. Uh, it is not, uh, they haven't mentioned that requirement is not fulfilled. So our routine is working fine. Still, if you want to check what you can do, you can set the breakpoint here in both. Okay, so everything is done now. Now we can, if you want, we can create a new PO. Or if you want, we can click uh, on save button here itself. Let's see, it is getting triggered. Yeah, it is getting triggered. Just size subversive should not be 4. If size subversive is 4, then routine is not getting assigned. It is not getting fulfilled. Size subversive is 0. So our routine is working perfectly fine. One more time it will come. Two different subroutine. Huh? Here it is KOBED. For KOBED, it is KOMTL. For KOBEV, it is T683SC. So this is the reason why they are used to 
a different subroutine because we are KMTL KSCHL is blank in this case. This value is not any UE, it, it will be different. Here, YSC. So I sub C is getting zero. Multiple time it will come. For all the output type, this routine, uh, wherever this routine is assigned, for all those routine output type will get called. For the for how many 101 is assigned? For all those output type, 101 is assigned. Okay. And it is present in VOFM routine. VOFM requirements output control position 101. Here we need to add uh, that to routine number description and then we need to click on here, uh, this button then program will get generated. 900 routines might be present here. Some custom routine starts with nine series. For this we required access key because one new program gets generated this one. RV61B up to RV61B everything is same. After that routine number gets assigned. For 101 also, it is same thing. RV, it is LV61, okay. But RV uh, for uh, custom, I think, LV61B is the standard, okay. Uh, for output uh, control, it is RV60. If we check pricing, it will be RV64 something. Let's see, program name. Huh? RV61 only, okay. okay. When that promise for requirement, it all starts with RV61. Let's see this one. If we have anything. I think VTFA, VTFL, uh, I already explained in one of my videos. So from there, you will get the idea. RV60C, it is starting with RV60C for data transfer. For requirement, it is RV61. For formula, let's see if anything is present. A manual series is present. Let's see first few digits. It is RV63A. So for each new program will get generated. Okay. Copying requirement might be present. Series. RV60B. Okay, so our purpose currently is to check price output control, not pricing. So for pricing, 101 is assigned. And from where we are checking, from NACE we are checking. Go to NACE, select EF for purchase order, click on procedure. This first procedure is assigned. Go to control, then go to any UE. In any UE, 101 is assigned. We have maintained MN04 also condition record. Condition record uh, and access sequence means if it gets satisfied, then only output will be in green color. Okay, now it is getting satisfied. We will press F8. Let's see whether it is in green color. Or... It's not in green color, but it went. In check why it is not getting satisfied. What is the issue? It is getting satisfied, but still it is not in green color. Everything is getting satisfied still. Output also found. 
it will create a new PO maybe in that it might come. Maybe name in 04 we need to give. EDI. Create a new PO. Sorry, not with Take minute, take 